My toilet stopped flushing and it was just a little break in the arm and I glued it together and that didn't work. So I used a 3D printer and it took me less time to design up the part, 3D print it and put it into my toilet than it would have for me to have taken the part off, go to the hardware store, make sure I got the right hardware part, drive back. I ended up saving money and spent about the same amount of time. Plus I got to nerd out. You saw how I said my toilet wasn't flushing. It wouldn't flush. The arm got broke because it's a cheap little piece of plastic. And of course, they're going to want you to pay more. And they're, I'm not sure I'm going to take a quick look and see how much these things cost. Fact is, is that it takes me 15 minutes to get to the hardware store. It takes me 15 minutes, 20 minutes to find the part. It takes me 15 minutes to get back. It takes me another 15 minutes to go through all this stuff. Or... It takes me about 20 minutes to model up the, th the part in 3D. And then it takes me 30 minutes to print. Now granted that's print time and I waited, right? So I'm doing other things. I've got my free time. I'm not driving back and forth and I can do other things. I saved 20 bucks and I would have spent the same amount of time. Now I can use that 20 bucks to buy another roll of filament. And we're talking like this was 20, 30 cents of filament. I love 3D printers and this is a good example why. Am I going to model the entire thing? No, I just need that little head piece. I don't need to do that entire arm and it would be a pain to print and I want this to be quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the arm off and I'm just going to have an insert piece that fits into a piece of plastic which then I can screw on. That is how I'm going to repair this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just take some measurements off the piece that we have. We're going to take it off the toilet and then we're going to take a look at it and you can see that there is a taper square um i'll just measure out the square i'm going to choose to use metric in this case that all being said is that you've got to look at angles as well and you can see that some of the angles on this are kind of weird and trying to measure the angles is a pain in the butt i literally will take a part and hold it up to the screen and guess the angle based off of what I can see. And you can see that this is just a one shot really quick and it works for me. Is this gonna make a precise part? Oh, hell no. But here's the thing, this is a toilet flushing handle. Who cares, doesn't need to be precise. It just needs to flush the freaking toilet. So now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna get into some sketchamaboos and some extrudes and some dangling hoo-hahs with the thingamajobs and that thing over there and all these other pieces. I know, you're thinking to yourself, holy cow, this is the best CAD tutorial I've ever seen in my entire life. And you can thank me later, but in the meantime, if you have any questions about how this has been modeled, about the thingamajob or the dangling hoo -ah, just just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. But I'm pretty sure that it's clear and you shouldn't have to ask any questions. Now on to 3D printing. We're gonna do three walls, four layers on the top and the bottom, 60% infill to make it really heavy. And then we're gonna print her out. Once it's done printing, your usual cleanup, we'll probably have to do some carving on some of the pieces to make sure that they fit. But you'll notice that the install went nearly perfect. After that, I tap in the handle arm and screw it into the place and do the final install. And we have a flushing toilet. No more poop smell in Ben's bathroom. Oh, that's awkward. Now, my hopes are on every video that will go viral and I will finally made it. And the fact is, is that it's complete and utter bullshit. And unless sometime that the YouTube gods shine upon you and put you on some sort of list and your thumbnail's perfect and your title's perfect and fuck, I hate all that shit. I am so tired of it. You're probably going to see a lot less videos because of that is YouTube has completely and utterly demotivated me from ever making fucking videos because it is complete crap. Is this video going to do well? Probably not. Will it be handy to like pretty much the entire population that has a 3D printer? Absolutely. fucking lootly Are they going to see it? Fuck no, because YouTube hates me. Okay, rant's over. It isn't about me. Sorry, it's just I get so frustrated. If you like this video, hit subscribe. Hit like, make a comment, do anything. Maybe someday somebody will notice my content. In the meantime, this is a really quick and inexpensive way to fix a toilet if you have a 3D printer. Woo!